Hello everyone, this is Neronium. Welcome back to Ratchet and Clank, all for one. Without further ado, let us get started with a new game. Starting in Luminopolis, the rooftop amphitheater, on hard mode. So, create the game. And as you can see, you have the ability to play as Ratchet, Nefarious, Clank, and Quark. So, it's only fitting for the first level that we play as Ratchet. I'm going to try and switch characters when I can. If the game lets me. In conclusion, I humbly accept this award for subduing the insidious light eating Zagroot against near impossible odds. How's that sound? Quark. Doesn't accepting an award for something you didn't do make you feel the slightest bit deceitful? It depends. Does deceitful mean impressive? Heroic? Oh, inspiring? Fine, I don't care what it means. We're talking about a light eating Zagroot here. You know what this will do for my approval rating? I never even heard of an intergalactic tool of justice award. Who did you say invited you? I don't know. The guy was all cloak and dagger on the phone. But I'm sure the whole thing's on the up and up. Look at him. Peacefully slumbering in the warm embrace of cryosleep. I don't know about this. Maybe we should call Kronk and Zephyr. Oh, Ratchet. So young, so unused to the spoils of do-goodery. Don't worry. When you're a hero, you'll understand. House lights? Well, hello, Mr. President! So kind of you to accept my invitation. Dr. Nefarious, I was wondering when you'd be showing up. Is that your new space station? Looks a little smaller than the last one. Oh, you're hysterical. Let's see you crack jokes from inside the digestive tract of a sagroot! Oh, goody. I get to reanimate something. <laughs> I think it's time to tend to my resignation. Stop the Zagroot before he destroys the city. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. So, let's get some bolts. We are gonna need them. I'm, I'm murdering him. Unhand the Aphelion right this instant. I don't have to go over controls. Hello, I'm Kip Darling. And I'm Pepper Fairbanks. And we're coming to you live from Luminopolis, where Dr. Nefarious has just released a light-eating Zagroot upon the city. The latest attack from the diabolical doctor couldn't have come at a worse time. Currently, the entire Polaris Defense Force is off on a field trip to the single and hating its speed dating convention in Meridian City. Well, let's hope they find love, Pepper. And now, Back to the mauling. Good to know that the dialogue is still as good as ever. So this right here is a checkpoint. Yeah, they have checkpoints. Like I said, it's a more linear adventure this time, unfortunately. But, hey, at least it looks nice. Very bright and colorful. Oh. Also... The depravity of this creature knows no bounds, folks. He just destroyed Rusty Pete's healthy hamburger shack. 
Its vegan wheat branch and tree bark burger was a favorite of hipsters everywhere. Yeah. That for a carbon-based life form. <laughs> what does that mean, Clank? What's up? Gonna just jump on up. Get all the bolts. We are gonna need them. Trust me. And no, you can't actually glide in this game because of the fact that technically Clank is a playable character, so... Yeah. The Luminoids. It appears the Zagroot has just ravaged one of the city's Luminoid conduits. Now that is taking matters into my own hands. <laughs> yeah, get ready for quips. I will help Lots you, of quips. Right? Looks like we're clear. Come on, let's keep moving. Engaging target. I'm over here. Yeah, you can call people back with the L2 button. And yes, Clank will always be um, the player two whenever there's a computer. It's kind of a shame you can't split it up, because otherwise I would have Nefarious and Clank. That was actually the original running title I wanted to have for this playthrough was Nefarious and Clank's Awesome Adventure. But, unfortunately, the game had other plans. So, let's keep getting all the bolts. Oh. Sprint. You know, I'm surprised that regular Ratchet and Clank games don't normally have a sprint button. I have your back. Ah. Headed for the airway. Come on, we gotta catch up. In better boop. So there's nanotech for ya. And yes, you only got three hit points. All systems are operational. I didn't realize I could destroy those. Now the bright side of having one player is the fact that I get all the bolts. Clank just died. So It looks like our heroes have commandeered an air taxi in order to catch up to the Zagroot. A bold move. Let's hope it ends in something that boosts our ratings. This taxi's gravity coils appear to be operational. Perhaps shifting position will steer the vehicle. That's what I'm trying. Watch out for the air cars! Here's an interesting fact. This is the seventh massive creature of destruction President Quark has helped unleash upon a major city since his inauguration. Yeah, he's not a very good president. You can relate. He's destroying the city! I have located the Zagroot. We are almost there. Now for grinding. Now that was a close one. This might be a good time to mention our sponsor, Proton Paul's Lunar Funeral Home. 
Don't settle for a boring afterlife. Spend eternity spinning in your grave, thanks to Proton Ball Zero G Coffins. Really? All right, so let's get all the bolts. I'm good. Yeah, you're good for right now, but I can tell you right now, Ratchet, later on in the game, it's gonna get hard. This is an interesting development. It appears that strange, unidentified robots have teleported into city limits. I'm no expert, but they don't appear to belong to Dr. Nefarious. One could only surmise that these robots have chosen to take advantage of our distraction with the Zagroot and invade our city. I may need to repair. That hurt. Don't worry. Gonna go and get some health. Clank, take care of him. Let's get some health. It despawned. That's a shame. Looks like I'm gonna die in the first level. But what's this? Looks like our heroes found a weapon kiosk from the president's failed Friendship Through Firepower initiative. Greetings, citizens, and thank you for taking part in Friendship Through Firepower. Are you ready to get certified? Since this is just a recording, I'll assume you said yes. So yes, we have all the weapons actually already said what they are going to be. We got the Thunder Smack, Omega Tech Frost Cannon, Dark Star Fission Tether, Pyro Blaster, Mr. Zircon, Critter Striker, Blitzer, Warmonger, Doppelbanger, Arc Lasher, Plasma Bomb Launcher, and the Combustor, which is free for us. So, nice. What's the info on this? This powerful weapon fires high velocity plasma ball balls with lethal accuracy. Perfect for saving a planet in distress or simply reminding your girlfriend's platonic maid friend that he should probably move it along. So, this automated training program will teach you how to use your new combustor. Start by unholstering your weapon. Okay, safety precautions, disclaimers, warnings, yada yada yada. Aha! Okay, step one. Fire! Impressive shooting, citizens. You mastered the same technique I employed when I vanquished Dr. Nefarious. So yeah, no ammunition this time. One thing that surprised me when I first became a hero was how much people don't enjoy getting shot. If your target refuses to stand still, try locking onto them with your weapon. So let's go right here, and there we go. If you're not me, chances are you'll need assistance from time to time. Try firing your combustors at once to deliver a supercharged blast of power. Friendship! Congratulations, citizens. You are now certified to carry a weapon inside city limits. Thank you for your participation in the Friendship Through Firepower Initiative. Have a truly awesome day. So yeah, we do have ammo. I forgot about that. But then again, you gotta spend gold somehow. Doing good, pal. 
Hey, get away from my I died. Luckily, Clank is still here, so we are good. Nice. Poor ammo. So, let's get more bolts because we're going to need it. Oh, I died right in front of health. How embarrassing. The Zagrut has just been sighted making its way towards the Luminopolis power plant, and it looks like the unidentified robots are following. They must be here for the Zagrut. Uh, Kip, you can come out from under your desk. I follow the truth wherever it leads, Pepper. Looks like our heroes have acquired some new firepower. Do you think they'll be able to ambush the Zagru? If three marriages taught me anything, it's that deception and surprise are the key ingredients to any successful offensive. <laughs> this is fun. This is. Now let us get all the bolts. Boom. Now there should be some health back over here that I... Unless I broke it. Probably broke it. No. Nope. Just what the technician ordered. <laughs> Sprint! Must get to other side. Boop, boop, boop. The bolt grabber lets you crate, break crates upon touch. Friendship! I found ammo. Much as I keep getting hit by the obvious thing. This one's mine. That was close. Not bad for a carbon-based life form. <laughs> Clank, we talked about this. I think that's all of them. So ready. I am ready. Let's take this moment to check in with Born Garblack about the mysterious robots tracking the Zagruth. Minister Garblack, any ideas as to who owns these robots? Our analysts are working on it, Pepper. It is quite possible that the Zagruth belongs to these robots and that they've come to retrieve it. Until we learn more, I advise all citizens to remain in their homes! Oh, thank you, Minister Garblack. Friendship is what I would say. Give me all the bolts because I'm going to need them. It looks like I'm getting a lot of bolts right now, but let me tell you, I'm not. Oh, I better find some nanotech. Yeah, that'd be a good idea considering I blew myself up. I made myself go boom. Chances these guys are not coming Let's get out here before backup arrives. Nice, more ammo. I have your back right there. 
Please have my back more. Oh, I died. We both died. Which means... Game over. Oh, that put me all the way back here. And let's try this one. I will help you, Ratchet. Random slowdown. Okay, let's uh, try this again. Yes. Such is the fate of hard mode. Good job, Blank. Ready. I am ready. Let's take this moment to check in with Born Garblack about the mysterious robots tracking the Zagroot, Minister Garblack. Any ideas as to who owns these robots? Our analysts are working on it, Pepper. It is quite possible that the Zagroot belongs to these robots and that they've come to retrieve it. Until we learn more, I advise all citizens to remain in their homes! Oh, thank you, Minister Garblack. This time, don't cripple myself. I will help you, Ratchet. Perhaps I should acquire some nanotech. Yeah, perhaps playing. Just, just well done, Ratchet. My robotic friends, we do not wish to fight. We got ammo here. Ow. That hurt. Boop. Yes. Just what the technician ordered. <laughs> Number two. Get all the bolts. Still isn't enough to buy even one weapon, I think. Now for helicopter. It's just a disguised loading screen. And now it's 
time to face the Zakru. And the fight is on. The entire city watches with bated breath as perhaps the strangest team in Polaris history works to defeat the deadly light-eating Zagru. Just a reminder, tonight's battle to the death is brought to you by Big Al's Robo Shack and Gaming Superstore. Only news for over a decade. I'm out! Nice! More ammo! I might be mistaken, but I believe destroying those generators would prevent the Zagroot from healing himself. There's no room for speculation in this game, Pepper. And down he goes! The Zagroot has been defeated! I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this newsman hasn't seen anything like this in all his years in the industry. And there have been a lot of them. Our station patrols are still taking count, but it appears that we're looking at billions of volts worth of property damage. A city in shambles, a galaxy in debt, and a lavish Meridian City retreat forged from expensive raritanium. All this begs the question, has the galaxy had enough of Copernicus Quark? They've never yeah! had enough. They've never had enough. be over. This Zagrood is back. And boy, does he look angry. I can barely watch, folks. The monster is breaking through everything in its path with bloodthirsty resolve. It's like watching some elderly cat lady on Black Friday as she claws her way mercilessly toward the last pair of self-cleaning stunderwear. Our heroes may be in real trouble. The Zagrood does not seem to be giving up. Hmm. Perhaps we can make use of those fusion turrets. So it looks like the heroes are attempting to use the fusion turrets on top of Zog Tower. Citizens will remember former Minister of Defense Artemis Zog had them installed in the event of an attack by Dr. Nefarious. How's that for irony? Whoops. I'm okay. Yes. Now I think a new weapon is available. If your enemy refuses to come out from behind cover, try your hand at the Plasma Bomb Launcher. This doohickey lobs grenades armed with unstable plasma. For an added kick, try firing multiple plasma bombs at the same target. So. The Plasma Bomb Launcher. Cost is only 500 bolts. So, created for the Polaris Defense Force, this weapon fires highly unstable charges of explosive plasma. Side effects of exposure include instant death and the longing for death and a sudden feeling of equal parts of panic and regret. So, I love these new toys. So, the right analog stick is used for that. So, let's get the combustor back out. I think it's safe to say that the group has found our protectors. Here. 
ammo. Make Clank yeah. not glowy. Bada boop, bada beep, bada bam, bada bit bop boop. And hit. And hit. And up ready we go. Now? I am ready. This Groot's taken a beating, but it's not ready to quit just yet. Let's hope it doesn't find another power source before our heroes can get their final licks in. What's that, Harvey? Our station manager, Harvey, has just pointed out that a new luminoid generator has been installed on that building. Well, that certainly complicates things. This is it, folks. The culmination of a citywide pursuit between the heroes of Polaris and a light eating Zagroup. Can they survive a battle to the death with one of the galaxy's most dangerous predators? According to our office pool, the answer is no. They cannot. for the count. Absolutely incredible. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsor. And we get a thousand bolts bonus. Enemies killed. Critters collected. And there we go. So fast, Nefarious. You've done some underhanded things in your time, but this beats all. I'm starting to think there may not even be an Intergalactic Tool of Justice Award. Ladies and gentlemen, your president. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see what game led into Ratchet and Clank all for one, check out the top link for a playthrough of Ratchet and Clank Future, a crack in time. And if you want to see the ending of the future series, check out the bottom link for a playthrough of Ratchet and Clank into the Nexus.